In the West, rising food prices mean an additional burden to the monthly grocery bill. For the rural poor in countries such as India, however, rapid food price increases mean deepening poverty, debt and worse. Governments and corporations tend to promote intensive farming methods as a solution to rising meat prices. And India's poultry sector, in common with much of Asia, has become increasingly industrialized in recent years. Vast factory farms, each one containing thousands of chickens, have taken root in rural areas. Many are owned and operated by large corporations seeking to dominate both domestic and export markets. By pumping the chickens with medication, using imported feed and keeping the birds in cramped, caged conditions, these factory farms profit from the huge economies of scale that they operate at. Unable to compete, many traditional small-scale chicken breeders have been driven out of their livelihood as a result. Pioneering vets in southern India, however, say that they are helping to tackle rural poverty with a traditional breed of chicken. Using natural breeding techniques, the scientists at Bangalore Veterinary College have revived and bred an ancient breed. Called the Giri Raja, or Forest King, this breed of poultry can be raised with minimal drug and food inputs and due to its inherently strong immune system, is best reared outdoors around the home. Campaigners claim that the forest king can be reared at little expense by impoverished families, providing plentiful supplies of eggs and a stable family income from the sale of the meat. This is a great example of a local breed with all the local strengths of being adapted to that environment, um, being raised and, and the breed improved to provide good quality local food for local people. The veterinary college supplies breeding stock, practical advice on husbandry and ongoing support to those who wish to invest in Giri Raja birds. Uh, such has been the success of the program that the Giri Raja birds are attracting growing interest from food corporations and international campaigners. And there is so much demand as you see here, so many farmers are coming, we are uh, unable to meet the whole demand. So still a lot of infrastructure is to be created to meet the whole demand. And I think this demand will continue. Poultry rearing corporations have been eager to buy into the potentially profitable Giri Raja project. Sorry, no, already you know, the chicks are over. Uh, the chicks are sold out. So only next week we can try. But the vets at Bangalore Veterinary College have so far resisted such offers. If we give it to the corporate, we have already seen the integration has come and people are making money only to the rich farmers. But we are not going to help the rural farming community. So this bird is comparatively lowest and cheaper and we are encouraging the farmers so that they can have a healthy food in their diets. It's a quite protein rich and also they can make economy, they can make money out of this. We are having total hold on this. We don't want to give it to the corporate sector. Campaigners believe Giri Raja provides a genuine model for sustainable development and regional food security that could be adopted around the world. There is huge knowledge which is contained amongst uh, people 
living in rural locations all around the world. They, after all, have developed uh, and worked with breeds of animals with, that survive very well in those conditions and have provided a long and stable source of food. If we use their expertise and couple with the good expertise that's been developed in other countries, a combination of those two things can um, produce animals which can produce more food, but not to the extent that the animals themselves are suffering detrimentally. For now, however, the Giri Raja is empowering and providing practical solutions to the problems facing some of India's poorest communities.